used to be. I mean, I started doing this when I was about 15. Some of the humor may be a little dated. <laughs> but, <clears throat> you know the song Mama Don't Allow? Uh -huh. It was, uh, it used to be uh, like Mama Don't Allow No Whiskey Drinking Around Here. I heard it from uh, Nancy Lipscomb Record. He's a Texas blues guy. Mama, mama Don't Allow No Two Stepping Around Here. And the chorus is, we don't care what your mama don't allow. Drink a little whiskey anyhow, or boys and girls come here anyhow. And the song, you know, served its function where people could get together in a group and get this brief sense that they were not dominated entirely by their mothers. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was taken over by bluegrass bands, and they used it to showcase the instrumental prowess of the band, which is pretty much what they do with all their songs. Mm -hmm. But uh, they would say, this would be a little more blatant than the usual. They'd say, well, they have a, like a lead singer who's usually the guitarist. And he's usually a tall, good-looking guy, kind of like Ben. <laughs> and uh, you put a cowboy hat on Ben and a, a big belt buckle, you know, with a B and a guitar on <laughs> a big wide belt. And he wears guitar high. You could, you could do the bluegrass thing. You could, something you might want to think about. <laughs> You can't just play house concerts for the rest of the <laughs> He can't play the rest. He plays more than three chords. Yeah. Anyway, so it's usually done with a, you I appreciate know, your insight. The lead singer will, you know, he's the singer and he's with the mama don't allow guitar picking around here and he runs off some flat picking stuff pretty straight ahead. Kind of impressive, and he gets a good round of applause because he's a look, good-looking guy, and he's popular, and people like him. And then he sings "Mama Don't Allow No Mandolin Playing Around Here." <coughs> you've seen this, you've seen this, right? And a little squat, little blonde guy with wire and glasses, kind of down his nose, real introverted. And this guy's actually a graduate of Juilliard, and he's brilliant. He does some new grass stuff, just but better than that. I mean, the guy's a genius. He's all over this mandolin. And he gets kind of a lukewarm response from the audience. And then uh, you see Mama Don't Allow No Banjo playing around here. And the banjo player is extremely skinny. It's, he's a really skinny guy. He's got a straw hat. He's got torn trousers. He's been playing for three weeks. And he does a couple of scrugs rolls on the banjo. People start screaming and yelling and ordering more beer. <laughs> and they'll see Mama Don't Allow No Bass playing around here. And there's a stand-up bass player doesn't know how to take a solo and he's kind of emotionally unstable and he stabbed himself in the stomach <laughs> with a Phillips screwdriver and has to be sitting out of the hospital. That's bass players for you. But uh, my band didn't show up tonight and I'm upset about it. I'm having to do this on my own. But, uh, Mama don't allow. Mama don't allow no guitar picking around. Mama don't allow no guitar picking around you. We don't care what your mama don't allow. You wanna pick this guitar in your Mama don't allow no guitar picking around you. Salesmen. <laughs> 
Everybody. I'm a Midwest sales manager. A little story, the wife and I took a trip out. To go. I got a super lady, I gotta tell you. I got a terrific little gal. We took a, a trip out to the West Coast, never been out there before. And uh, started out the Olympic National Forest. They have natural beauty up the wazoo out there. Very, very attractive area. We went, drove down, we rented a car, drove down the coast to the rocky cranny of the Oregon coastline, very beautiful, and uh, down through the beautiful, majestic, huge redwood that they called it Sequoia trees. There was one place you could drive your car right through the bottom of a tree. <laughs> We stopped in a little town, Leggett, California. I had an incredible Polish sausage, good as anything I had ever had in Chicago. I'm going to go Midwest. Philistine pig ignorance, I've come to expect from you, non creative damage. You sit there on your bed with some spot behind, squeezing blackheads, not caring a tinker's cuss for struggling artists, you excrement, you whining hypocritical toadies with your color TV sets and your Tony Jacklin golf clubs. I wouldn't become a Freemason now if you went down your lousy, stinking, turbulent knees and beg me. I'm a dumb <laughs> Mama don't allow no Shakespearean acting around here. <laughs> Mama don't allow no Shakespearean acting around here. I care not what your mama didn't allow, for yesterday last in yon grove, she did spit upon my royal blood and did curse me. Every voice I run upon my breast. Finally, I just rend my heart from in my breast and did cry out for mercy. I curse the rub.